first bit here, trig equation, is something we have seen, but of course now we know more trig identities, relationships, it gives us alternative ways of, of solving. So previously we would have got a question like this, cos 2 theta is a half, standard sort of question, and we would have said, oh, okay, well, if theta goes in between 0 and 360, I know 2 theta will go between 0 and 720. I'd just identify my quadrants. I'd uh, find the acute angle, which is 60. But they, of course, would be answers for 2 theta, which means I need to go around the circle again. And I get four possible answers divided by 2. Okay, so we've seen ones like that. But now I could use a different idea because we have a whole heap of cos 2 theta results. I could change cos 2 theta into cos squared minus sine squared. Probably not a good idea for this one. Uh, 2 cos squared minus 1, that could work. Or 1 minus 2 sine squared, that could work. So I changed it to 2 cos squared minus 1. So by changing it to that, I rearrange it and get cos squared equals 3 quarters, which now just means cos is plus or minus root 3 on 2. So we're actually in all four quadrants this time. So we're in all four quadrants. The acute angle is 30 degrees and we end up with the same four answers. So it gives us an alternative way of doing that particular question. Now we saw ones like this before. 4 sec squared x equals 3 tan x plus 5. So we changed the sec squared to 1 plus tan squared created a quadratic in terms of tan. Uh, fortunately, this one factorised. So two possibilities. Tan x equals negative a quarter, or tan x equals one. So first one, it's negative, so quadrants two or four. Locate the acute angle, and then work out the two possibilities there. Tan x equals one, that's one of our exact values. First and third quadrants, Acute angle is 45, and then we just combine all our answers. Now, I don't know that we really have another way of doing it uh, with the, what we've seen with double angles. That one pretty much would still do the, the same way. But if I now get something like this, cos 2 theta equals 4 cos squared minus 2 sine squared. And again, I've got three possibilities for cos 2 theta. I could change everything to cos squared. Like the cos 2 theta I could change to uh, 2 cos squared minus 1. The sine squared I could change to 1 minus cos squared. I could change everything to sine squareds. Or I could just change the cos 2 theta into cos squared minus sine squared. And playing around with that, I end up with tan squared for this one. Now it really doesn't matter which way you pick. They're all going to work. It's just a personal choice how you do it. So tan plus or minus root 3. So we're in all four quadrants. The acute angle, so root 3 is one of our exact ones, 60 degrees. Putting that into all four quadrants, there's our answer. 60, 120, 240, 300. Here's one from an HSC, quite a long time ago now, but cos 2 theta equals sine theta. So cos 2 theta, it makes sense to change it to the 1 minus 2 sine squared for this one. So I end up with a quadratic, which does factorise, so we thank the HSC examiners that year. Thank you. So two possibilities, sine theta is a half, sine theta equals negative 1, and we solve each of those individually. So the first one's positive, we're in the first two quadrants. Half is an exact value, so we end up with... Uh, oh. Sorry, sine theta equals negative 1. There's only one answer for that one, 270 degrees. So sine being a half, we end up with three answers all up. 30, 150, 270. Whoa, going back even further, 1992. So you get uh, 2 sine squared is sine 2 theta. Well, we don't have a choice there. 2 sine theta cos theta. Hmm, 2 sine squared equals 2 sine theta cos theta. I say the mistake people would make would be divide both sides by sine theta. No, no, move it all to one side and factorise. So we have a possibility that either sine theta equals 0 or sine theta is cos theta. Well, sine theta equals 0, and the classic mistake on this one, you write down 0 and 180, but forget 
the 360 is a possibility as well. And then sine theta equals cos theta, which of course is tan theta equals 1 when we divide by cos theta. Tan theta is 1. We're in the first and the third quadrant. 45 degrees. Combining all my possibilities, there we go. What do we end up with? Five possible answers for that equation. Okay, so handful out of 2D.